how to create multiple websites using a single web hosting account hello and welcome in this video session I'm going to show you how easy it is for you to create uh, multiple websites using just one web hosting account so let's imagine that what we're seeing on the screen is in the green box is your web hosting account that allows you to host multiple websites in my example rankia.club is a domain that's already hosted on that web host but now I can have unlimited websites living in just one web hosting account so that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do so I'm logged into my web hosting account whereby I can have multiple websites now what I need to do is find the IP address for this you can usually find that through the links for your web hosting account I always like to write things down so I encourage you to do the same thing as well the next step you need to log into your domain name manager account and find the name server for that that's the easiest way to find it or else you need to search Google as to how to find name servers and then give the domain address so that you need to find it or you can contact your web hosting provider to provide you the name server now let's imagine we're going to host a second website called schema markup wordpress plugins.com now we need to make a couple of changes to the name servers for that second domain now I strongly encourage you to write things down as in whatever is there by default write it down and keep a copy of it okay because we need to change the name servers and also DNS records so what you want you want to always have the backup details so this let's modify it let's grab this name server coming from for this hosting so I've just shown you the easiest way to find that and it was the second one was N S2 okay so now you don't have to populate this field because once you place the name server that will dynamically update itself let's press update so we have just deleted what was there previously and updated the name servers these are important for your second website to show up on internet and finally we need to also modify this DNS settings a record once again write things down so you have a backup copy always so what goes in here is the IP address for that web hosting so let's copy that so let's copy that and modify the IP address and let's update now what we need to do is log into our web hosting manager and locate add-on domains so if you're using like GoDaddy or HostGator, SiteGround you'll still be able to find that menu option add-on domains now new domain name should match your additional domain name okay exactly with no space at the front or at the end and so on. FTP username you simply create one if you're going to host many 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 different websites perhaps you'd like to create FTP username that makes sense okay so because we will need this FTP username as well the document root it's going to dynamically generate that for you password always choose a strong password 
and let's press on add domain. Now our additional site has been created. If we were to browse into file manager and press on that, now that's where our website folder is. And it can be viewed from the front end of internet. It may take 24 hours for DNS records to update, but nonetheless, this is how you can have multiple websites using just single web hosting account. Now, before we close this video session, I'd like to show you one final step, which I believe is smart to include for your new website. So let's browse into that folder and here let's create a new file and let's call this file dot ht access important to have that dot in the front of it let's create new file and let's right click and press on edit Now, what I've inserted here, I didn't write it, I copied and pasted it in here. Basically, when you create that additional website, it's still seen like a subdomain, right? It's complicated, I don't want to go in depth, but by making sure that you're using precautions in place, will then make sure that your new website works correctly now as you can see this actually came from our ftp username and then what i'm saying here is you know what if someone was to request this url let's copy this url and let's actually request it to see what happens as in let's save it first now the settings is saved in dot hdxs file so I removed the backslashes because they were server codes so let's request this as you can see you may actually end up seeing something like this let's open up another browser to see if that is working As you can see, that redirection just occurred. So to demonstrate the point once again, let's copy that. Let's close, clear the cache. Let's open up a browser. Let's place that and remove those backslashes and now we have our additional website all working perfectly I thank you very much for learning with me if you benefited from this video session please do give it a like and share this video and I'll talk with you in the next video session